you're not hearing my words the first time, why am I talking to myself this morning? As you recall, all the other opportunity teachers have already quizzed on peace by Yeah, they all have already quizzed on peace by functions. But I said, no, my kids are working really hard, but we don't quite have it down yet. Let's wait, and we'll quiz later. You have a quiz on peace by tomorrow. But if you were going to give such a little rip and not get your checkpoint done and not do your homework, then heck, why didn't we just quiz today and get it out the way? It's going to be a bad grade, apparently. I mean, true story. So when I get done rambling about this checkpoint, I need to see your homework you were supposed to complete this weekend. It was page 23 and 25 of your packet. And I got some who looked deer in the headlight eyes. Um, I gave you time in class on Friday. I gave you time in class on Thursday. What on God's green earth were you doing then? That's super annoying to me. You're in algebra to its rig. You did not take algebraic connections. This is not geometry anymore. This is an advanced level math class. So if you're not going to be able to do the advanced level math work, I'm not sure you should want to stay in the advanced level math class. So if you've not done that, I guess I'm going to have to give you time today to work on that. But that seems kind of stupid, too, because your quiz is tomorrow regardless. Your quiz is tomorrow regardless. Yes, ma'am. And then if you were really, again, and that really just ticks me off, because you, you were going to be that lazy, then why didn't I just quiz today and make my life easier? I'm not being lazy. Would have made my life easier. Because if one more person comes up here and shows me a checkpoint, I had someone in zero period, so not one of you, someone in zero period come up to me. And they had a graph, and thankfully they had drawn a fence. I'll give them that. And then I don't know what went on, but they had two lines over here. The whole point in the fence was so you would realize the issue happens here. You shouldn't have two lines on the same side of the fence. Well, Just like you and your, your, your neighbor, your house is not on the same lot. You might share a fence line but your house is not on the same lot. So if you come up to me and your checkpoint doesn't look something like this, oh, yeah. where you have a line on each side of the fence, then you've already got a problem. And not only have you messed up the graph, but you realize you've also messed up the domain and range then. So once you've messed up the graph, you've therefore messed up the domain and range, and you've therefore, out of that seven question checkpoint, how many questions are on it? So Paige got one, two, three, but she's possibly going to, not Paige, hers looks not great, but I'm picking on her. She's possibly going to miss four, five, and then four, six, and seven of a checkpoint she was supposed to have done. If you can't get the checkpoint done and me happy with it by the end of class, what does that imply about your quiz tomorrow? You're going to fail it. You're going to fail it. Is that my fault? Is that my fault that you fail your quiz? I wouldn't think so. I've spent extra days on it, extra time, extra problems. And it makes me real sad to realize, you know, I guess I live in a dreamer's world. I found this really cute figure. Not focused. I see that. You can say the same thing about yourself. Um, I found this really cute extra activity to practice with piecewise to help you practice with domain and range. It was a cut and glue. I was going to let you do it in your groups. I thought that would be fun today, but let's face it, based on the deer in the headlight looks, I got a lot of people who instead need to get their homework done, need to pass their checkpoint, and it might end up the bell ringing and they don't get that perfect score on the checkpoint. If you don't have your checkpoint passed by the time you leave this period, I'm going to need to see your phase zero period or I get to type in the zero for the checkpoint. Understood? Yeah. Now, since I did already print out my cute little cutting glue, if you wanted to do that for extra practice and maybe a couple bonus points, just come see me when I get done rambling about these math workshops. Otherwise, me and Ms. Brister feel like we've done all we can do. I can check your checkpoint. I can try to help. But if you're not helping yourself, you're going to think. And think fast. Okay, and, and you realize, so Seth, he just said, whatever. This piecewise, check, this piecewise quiz I'm just going to fail it. It's only in the 30% category, just going to fail it. I didn't say I'm just making stuff up. Just go with it. Um, and that's great. And Seth will probably survive. His grade probably won't die. However, eventually we're going to take a Chapter 2 test. And Peacewise is going to be on that Chapter 2 test, and he's going to blow it. So you would blow it in two 60%, I mean, two different grades. You would blow it with 30% tomorrow and a 60% probably beginning of next week.
week. Table two out of point. Table three out of point. Five out of point. Four out of point. Do you think it makes me happy when I look around and see people playing on their phones when I'm talking? It does not. It really makes me want to take your phone and throw it on the ground and break it. But I'm not buying you a new phone, so I'm going to let that anger stay within. I need help with these bell ringers so I can get my temper under control. <laughs> Early this morning, already hot. Whew. Someone want to? I did. <laughs> I did. Someone want to help with number one? I got you. Please. Sorry. Thank you, Eduardo. So you'd be left with A plus C, and your group can have a point. It was a GCF one. I told you the first thing I think of when it says factor is, is there a GCF? If there is a GCF, you should pull it out first. And I believe all the top three that we're doing today all have a GCF. <laughs> Number two. Uh, two. A negative 6x. We could pull out a negative 6x. And we would be left with... Um, 2x plus 1. That is correct. And I like that because now everybody's positive. Or maybe you just factored out a 6x. You would have been left with a negative 2x minus 1. I agree with Arturo. I think I would have done the top one. But just in case you did the bottom one, let's list it as well. Arturo, your group can have a point. Okay, and then we get to number three, and it is another GCF problem. Something that I can factor out of both pieces. I heard it. Was, yes, thank you, Eduardo. Another point for your group. If we factor out a 2x, we would be left with a y to the third and a minus 5. Okay, and then, again, I was trying to be nice. So I only said we would do these three problems today because, my goodness, I thought you needed lots of time to practice piecewise. And then come to find out you hadn't even been practicing piecewise on your own. Makes me super duper happy, people. I'm so excited. If I don't see your group working on either the homework or the checkpoint, I'm going to take your points away 